you're gonna turn around. I just don't know what to do. Right. Yeah. Beach sequence where I was dragging people out of the water was pretty intense. At this one point, I had to drag one of my friends, Noah, out of the water. I enjoyed it. I like action. You give me something physical to do, I'm right at home. All the water boys from Blue Crush were there. You'd feel safe with a monsoon. It was the first time that I, uh, as an actor, and you as the audience, were actually going to see Echo before he landed on the island and what he became. I was wearing a suit and I was shaved. So it was a very important episode for the arc of the character. Who are these people? I don't know. They're out here in the jungle with no shoes, nothing in their pockets, no labels on their clothes. These people were here before us. They paired me with Michelle Rodriguez, who has a similar kind of edge to her. That dynamic duo, I mean, we were, we were there just to kick, kick butt, really. It's like a dance between actor and, and creators. They watch the dynamics on the screen, we watch what they write, and, and you dance together. It was the first time we'd seen uh, Mr. Echo clean and in his former life state. And I think the, the, the creative juices just started flowing and running on all counts, what you could do and where you could go. Because up until that point, it was quite intimidating. But compassion was really shown. And it was hard to see that this was one and the same character. And that was the elements that I was trying to bring out in this kind of complexity. We're actually here today, episode seven, uh, season two, Lost. And today we are accomplishing a uh, CGI tale of the, of the airplane sinking underwater. And the way we're gonna accomplish that is we actually have a jet ski uh, tethered to a buoy that's gonna be placed about 300 yards out there in the water and on roll, we're just gonna have them stay in place. And we're gonna actually use that to track our CGI element of our airplane onto that so that it can actually sink underwater. My name's Goodwin. Uh, and I'm one of the others. Hey, I need some help. There's someone in the jungle is alive. This girl Michelle Rodriguez, you know, she's really violent. Well, actually, that was Carlton and Damon's work. The character uh, was created by them. They had this like idea of animalistic type creature that was tamed by the island. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. What she does to me is not pretty. And, uh, you know. I'm... I didn't, I didn't sign up for this, you know. I, I, I signed up for, like, you know, I'm on an island, come here, have some fun, party, you know, pina coladas. When I got the face off with Goodwin, that was a fun scene to do. I liked the fighting sequence there. That was fun, rolling around in the dirt. Action! It doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't have to be this way. Oh! I was supposed to go with him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll never know the difference. Yeah. Right. You cut it there. <laughs> like, yeah, sucker. <laughs> See ya. Thanks for the sword. <laughs> I'm hurt. Oops. Action. I think she's very intuitive so far. They've written her that way, and I like that. A character that's pretty much aware and always suspicious. You really think it's possible that one of us is one of them? Why do you think I'm digging this hole? The catch was that she only wanted to be on the show for a year. This part, that's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to. She just had this great energy that we thought was going to be really cool to dial into the show. Everyone had these really definitive ideas about what they wanted this to look like, so they were kind of going for a uh, familiar brand name beer commercial of a pristine beach 
and that we were just going to be on this pristine beach for like a long period of time. Like it's the start of the episode and you don't know what's going on. And then you were going to hear the sound effect and it was going to build and, and then the tail section was essentially going to fly right out of the sky like a missile and land right in and that was going to be the start of a big sequence. The tail section was built in CG and 3D and uh, animated in and then we had various other pieces that came in and hit the water and then we composited these splash elements that were shot over the entire sequence. I mean that sequence only had five visual effect shots in it. The opening sequence of the pilot had 125 visual effect shots in it so it certainly was a lighter version of the pilot. But that's what everyone was trying to do. This is essentially the same event. This is the tail section's pilot.